Now let's implement this in the encrypt method. So I will remove this to do. Make some space here. Okay, first of all, I will call this prepare secret key method. Uh, and instead of, I mean, I will try to use a try black block so that if you face any exception, exception E, E dot print stack case. Nothing, I don't think that we will get this unless we do some nasty things. And I will, I will create a cipher. Yeah, cipher. From cipher, we are going to get the AES algorithm, the recording uh, cryptographic method, the class that we want. So cipher dot get instance, and I will pass the algorithm AES that we are using. And then I will init it. dot init cipher dot encrypt mode because we're using encrypt mode here and then they will pass our secret key spec and now we finally we will encode it using all these objects that you have created so we'll use base 64 dot get encoder we are encoding it and dot encode to string and there we are passing the cipher do final this one and we'll use this str to encrypt dot get bytes so this is our final we get the bytes and then do the cipher to final for getting this algorithm AES. We encode it to string using the base 64 get encoder. And finally, we have got our encoded string, which we are going to serialize it. This is all we have done for encryption. So I will just move it here to make it better space. Okay, guys, as mentioned again, <laughs> I have mentioned many times now that just type this code along with me. If you want to understand more about this AES algorithm and uh, Shawan, Mr. Jadish, and the Cipher and all, you can uh, read the documentation. You can just go to the Cipher and then you can uh, just uh, search for it. So this is actually included in uh, Javax package. Let's skip to package, all these algorithms. So let's go back. So we have encrypted it now. Let's do it for decryption now. So I will remove this to do here to save some time. I will copy this uh, and then make some small changes. It would be very much similar to the en encryption one. So just copy this, prepare secret key. Cipher that is created is same as AES algorithm in it. Yeah, now here I need to change it to decrypt mode and pass this secret key spec. And now I will use this decoded. Okay, I think I need to totally change this. Uh, okay. So let's create a new string. And inside this, I will use cipher, cipher dot do final. And now I will use base again, base 64 dot get decoder because we are decoding it dot decode str to decrypt this is the str to decrypt and uh, this would be something which we have encoded before and serialized it so this encoded would be coming back here in this uh, method argument and pass it here and then we will decode it using cipher to final and then finally we get a new string method out of it and uh, okay. okay control alt l 
and uh, finally we returned and decoded guys so we have done a lot of typing in this code just for the encryption and decryption part so let's revise what we have done so far so we have created a new java pojo class and we don't have any other object reference here we are just going very simple so we have got the string and long and primitive fields and the only secured information that we have is the lock in password somehow there's a requirement that we want to still serialize it so before serializing and, and deserializing it we will encrypt and decrypt it using a particular aes algorithm using message digest sha1 so let's go down here what we did is first of all we included this in the white listing the login password field along with the other security id time and last and then we created the secret key this secret key is something which is used for uh, encryption and de and decryption and this should be very unique and secured for this for the sake of this uh, tutorial i'll just include it here as a private static panel field but ideally it should be taken from a database or a config file and the algorithm i have hard coded again as aes it should be also uh, secured or because this using this aes algorithm is a particular type of algorithm which is used here Okay, so then uh, before we uh, go to the encryption and decryption again, what we did is that in the write object method, when we put the field, we encrypt it before we serialize it. And similarly, when we are deserializing it back, we decrypt it so that uh, we get the original login password, which was there. And then we wrote our encrypt and decrypt methods. So it's a uh, quite bit of uh, code here, which is, uh, quite uh, standard that how we use the message digest using a cipher and a secret key spec and uh, as mentioned that we are using sha1 uh, message digest so as mentioned that you can again uh, if you want to go more into details about these uh, classes in java java x java x you can go on your own uh, so i will just uh, uh, just 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 type along with me whatever i will can hear Okay, enough said on this. Now let's add some test cases to understand this, whether our assertion.